Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a DIY recipe video with three DIYs. Uh, they're perfect to do after a yoga session, but you definitely don't have to be a yogi to make these. Um, the first recipe is for bath bombs. I've made bath bombs before and I've shared um, the recipe on my blog, but I thought I would do it in a video. Um, and I also found these awesome like rose petals and lavender, so I thought I would like spruce them up a bit. Uh, the second DIY is for massaging lotion bars and like these turned out so great I'm so excited. They look just like the ones you can get at Lush and then the third recipe is a DIY yoga mat spray that you can use um, to refresh your mat after a session and then follow that up with a nice bath and a lotion bar So yeah, let's get into the recipes. I hope you enjoy so here's what you'll need to make the DIY bath bombs. Everything I got at the grocery store or Amazon, or if you already have a lot of essential oils, uh, then you might have all these ingredients pretty accessible. So I'm gonna start with one cup of baking soda. I'm mixing my dry ingredients first. Um, next is a half a cup of Epsom salt, and then a half cup of citric acid. This will make your bath bombs be really bubbly when you drop them into the water. And so now I'm gonna mix my wet ingredients together before I then combine them. So you'll need three teaspoons of an like almond oil or I'm using this vitamin E oil blend from Trader Joe's to make them very like softening for your skin. You'll also need a teaspoon of water. And now I'm adding my drops of essential oil. I'm using lavender and eucalyptus. I think I did about like three drops of each. Maybe a little more. Now mix that up, though it is difficult being oil and water. And then you want to slowly add it to your dry. Um, it will fizz up a little bit with the baking soda, but you don't want it to use all of its bubbly power until you're in the bath. So this will take several different stages, um, and you want it to still stay very dry. So now I'm adding in the rose petals and lavender just to make this a little fun and fancy. You definitely don't need to do this. I've made the bath bombs um, without these things and they are just as fizzy and fun in the bath. So I thought I'd do like a little pattern with some rose petals in the middle and some lavender. Um, spreading out and I was really like surprised to find these little packets at World Market. And so now you want to fill it with your um, mixture and also pack it down into your molds. And I'm using just half circle molds. I find that a half circle is perfect for the bath. Anytime I get lush bath bombs I tend to cut them in half anyway. Um, so this mold is the perfect size. Now you let them dry and you might have to pack them down still as they're kind of setting. For 
are the lotion bars I'm combining four tablespoons of shea butter with four tablespoons of cocoa butter. But you can use um, one or the other or any ratio that you would like. And this is going to make two um, bars. So then I melted these in the microwave at 10 second intervals during between. And now I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of that vitamin E oil, but you could use almond oil or coconut oil. And I'm using for my essential oils uh, vanilla and sweet orange. And both of these essential oils also had another carrier oil in them, which I tend to like to use when I'm doing um, skincare, just so that I make sure that I have enough of a carrier oil before I put on my skin. And then to make these bars massaging, I'm adding the adzuki beans, but this is also optional. Um, they'll be a really great lotion bar without the massaging element, but I thought it would be fun to try to recreate. So now you can use them after your bath bomb bath to give yourself some hydration and a little bit of a massage. This final DIY is super simple. You will just need a water bottle filled with three fourths of the bottle with water. A few drops of tea tree oil for that antibacterial, antimicrobial property and then a couple drops of lavender. And then you just fill the rest of the bottle, about one fourth, um, with witch hazel. You can also use vinegar. And I'm using a glass bottle um, for the essential oils. And now you just shake it up. The most fun part of this DIY for me was making the label. I love my label maker. And this one uses um, Bluetooth so you can make the label on your phone. It has a lot of different um, little icons and symbols and you can change the font. So I've been really having fun with this label maker. So now if you finish a yoga sesh, you can just spray your mat. It'll instantly make it smell so much more refreshed and cleanse it. So there you have three DIYs that are perfect for yogis or anyone that wants to have a relaxing night in. See you next time.